everyone, welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. So today's workout, we're focusing all on lower body, glutes specifically, but of course, you'll hit some of those quads, hamstrings, calves while we're working the bottom half. This workout is gonna be in rep range, so I really want you to focus on lifting heavier, slow, methodical reps where you're really putting the mind into the glute or hamstring or quad muscles. You'll require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today, so grab those. I'll also use a box or bench, something to step up on, because that is a great glute exercise as well. All right, you ready to move daily? Let's do it. For you Apple Watch users, I'm setting it to strength training. All right, can we just take it down into the ground here? Hands on your feet. Let's open up into the groin a bit. I'm also using a mini band in the workout today. If you don't have one, not to worry. It does add that extra tension though, so why would you get them? They're pretty cheap. <laughs> cheap thing to get. Stand and squat with your hands on your feet if you can. Um, yeah, you know when people try some of my mini band workouts, they're like, oh my goodness, I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> no, they are burners for sure. But today I do want to focus on lifting a little bit heavier if we can, slowing the rep down slightly and really uh, giving a lot of volume to those legs. Ooh, stand up, take it wide, and let's just stretch it out, touch your toes. My heaviest weight's only 25. I do have a barbell downstairs, but you know what? For me, for where I'm at and my age right now, my goals, this 25 is, is good. I don't, uh, I'm happy with the amount of muscle that I have, that I've built and can build with this amount of weight, so that's good for me. But if you're like, you know what? I really want that popping booty. You gotta get heavier. You gotta get heavier weights. Squat here and overhead reach. A barbell is actually a good little addition. It's not space saver, that's the only thing. It's quite large, but you know, glute thrusts, squats, deadlifts, all those good big heavy lifts that you can really um, put on some size with, that's, that's important. I know a few of our members go to the gym to do leg days. I think that's great because you know, you got goals. <laughs> and uh, that will help you get there faster for sure than using just lighter weights. All right, oh, let's just do some circles here just to get blood flow in the whole body. Switch directions. Let's take you to a little side to side lunge feel a little pull on my inner thigh, so I'm just going to stretch this out. Peel up, stretch into the calf as well. Other side again. And back and forth here. I'm going to throw some active rest in here as well, so that we can get heart rates up, help ourselves burn some body fat, and really feel like we're getting a good, you know, workout in. Mind you, we're gonna start with some step ups and instantly that just gets our heart rates up, doesn't it? So, not to worry about that. More here. Let's just squat one more round here. more. All right, and take it wider. I'm going to open here. And last one right there. All right, so I'm starting with some step ups. Um, I'm going to put it at my highest. So this is an 18 inch box, 18 by 14. Um, round one, I'll start with my 15s. Okay, we're gonna do 12 per leg here. If you don't have a box to step up on, try using a stair, that would be a good option. But you could also just go into a squat 
High knee on the same side instead, okay? Make sure it's heavy though. All right, 12 side. I want you to do a far reaching step back, thinking about your glute. Okay, so you're, you're far, you're not super close. That would be a little bit more quad, but let's take it from the distance and drive up. Here we go. For 12, reach it back, and then two. Four more on this side. Last here. And switch. Whew. See, it gets hard right up already. Drive it up. Core is tight. Squeezing abs before you step up. Eight, I've got four more. Last here. And there's my 12. Whew. That's a good warm up. Okay. Good. We're going to move into a squat on the tiptoe. I'm going to hold 15s again up on my shoulders. Okay. I'm just going to do. Six per side because I'm going to go progressively heavier as I go along. One tiptoe, one flat foot. Reach those hips back. So for six, drive through the heel. Switch sides. Good. All right. Let me go a little bit heavier. Maybe with my twenties. Moving into just a regular deadlift, but up chest out. Ready and work. Twelve here. Reach it back. 
Core is tight. more here. Last here. Mama. That was work. Whew. Okay, I'm going to go a little heavier on my squat. Maybe the 20s this time. Heart rate should be up from those squats. Great. Okay. Sometimes it's just the holding of the weights that's the hard part. Up. Up. Tiptoe, reach your hips back for six. Drop it low. Switch legs. Deadlift. Now you kind of push air as if you're blowing up a balloon. You fill your diaphragm with air, contract it before you hit this descent on this deadlift. So squeeze and work. Exhale as you come up. Breathe in on the down. Exhale as you come up. Three. step really makes a difference. If you think about your glute being that first muscle, it's, it's good. Here we go. Other side for 12. Me. 
you as well. Okay, so if you could have gone like way faster, your weights might not be heavy enough for you. If you want it to feel super challenging like that, that was good for me with the 18 inches. It's about the typical size of your bench at the gym. All right, squats. I'm gonna go on my 20s here. Ready, reach it back. Switch sides. in total. Remember, engage your core and work. single leg glute thrust here. Preferably your foot is elevated on something. You can even elevate it onto a dumbbell to get a little extra dip. But like I said, I'm gonna go on the side of my couch. Someone has come too early. It's because I stopped to get my water and she got confused. Okay, go Lily, it's sleep time. All right, take it to the side here. 12 leg, drive, low and up, two, push four so as you can see my chin is close to my chest my head is still up it's not falling back okay I'm very cautious not to bend my neck here two more up last one and up wow that was un really incredible <laughs> doesn't take much does it all right other side up Drive for 12, drop your glutes, drive them up and low. Two, up, three. Four more here. We're gonna stay in the same position just without the band. I'm gonna grab a dumbbell though. All right, that's it. Again, this can be done from the floor. I'm gonna grab my heaviest and go into a frog position. So, again, on the floor or up here. Frog is simply feet together, knees are out, and we're gonna pulse at the top. So, you're low, up, up, low, up, two, hold that dumbbell, three, support your head with your hand if you need to, five, six, 
We're gonna go for 15 here. 12 won't feel like enough. So you got five more. Up, five, four, that's better. Three, two, one. Okay, yep. So the things are made of right there. Okay, let's take the band above the knees. I'm gonna go into a plie, so your band might roll. If you have the no slip, no roll, that's better here. You can do this without. I'm gonna again hold my 25 up high. Plie here, take it low, low, drive, two, Two more. And there we go. Okay, that felt good. Into your active rest. I'm gonna leave my band there. I'm gonna hit some split split squat just for 15. So without the band, modified tap tap squat. Otherwise, here we go. Split split, take it low. And two. There's five, 10 more. All right, last five. Drop, four, drop your glutes like you're in a squat. One more. Okay. Okay. I feel like I pulled my chest a little bit when holding those heavy weights in the last circuit. It happens, eh? War wounds of being fit. Okay, let's go into the single leg glute thrust. On your back on the ground with a band or a dumbbell. Elevate the foot though if you can. Ready, drop it low, drive it high. And two, three. Got two more. Eleven, last one. Whatever my weak leg is, I, I always do that one last so it has the optimal amount of rest time before I hit it. Little tip for you. Switch sides. Here we go. Think about doing a glute thrust, put your mind in your butt. All right, squeeze at the top. Don't arch the back. Two more, up and up. Wow. All right, frog pulse. I'm gonna grab a 25 again. Pulse at the top, feet together, knees apart. On the ground if you want. Ready, 15. Low, up, 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 two. Move your legs out. Five more here. Knees tend to migrate closer together. Keep them out. That way you'll really feel the glutes. Three more. Last here. Oh, that's your 50 shades of gray glued exercise right there. <laughs> that's a tricky one to do in a gym with the legs spread open. It's like, yikes. Okay, plie. I'm gonna add that band above my knees again. And I'll keep it for my active rest. That felt good for me. 25 in my hands. Take it wide. Shoulders back. Drive, squeeze the butt at the top. There's my 12. I 
You almost go for 15 there as well. I think you will the next round. See how you adjust as you go, right? If that's the heaviest weight I have, but I can do more, then I up the volume. Ready? 15. Split, split, drop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, good. All right, last round. I've got a, a heavy bag that I'm using for this, FYI. I don't know if I told you that, but 12 side here. Let's rock it. Low, drive, and two, I watch people do this and a lot of people do this incorrectly. They're, you know, they don't drop the hips low enough. It's like you want to think about your bum about to sit on the ground and then you drive it up. Two more here. Oh, that is, that should feel like so tight. That's good. Ready? Here we go. Low. <clears throat> Four more here. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna actually keep my band on for this one, above the knees, in the frog, and use my dumbbell at the same time. Feel free to use both, one or the other. Okay, I think I'll go for 20 this round. Feet together, knees are out, pulse at the top. Low, up, two, three. All right, I'm halfway, there's my 10. 10 more now. One more. Okay, that was not horrible. Not horrible, I said, it was not. <laughs> I did not mind it. Okay, part rate's a bowl of 142. Going into that plie. Sweaty though. Those step ups. Ready, and go. There's five, I'm gonna do 15 this time, so 10 more. This 10, last five, low, squeeze, two, all right, very good, split, split, squat, stay there, okay, here we go. All right, five more. And there you go. All right, ditch the band, grab a drink, and join back. We're gonna go into some same side reverse lunge with the pulse. Again, I'm gonna grab my 15s, you're gonna pulse at the bottom, and then I'm gonna come up and do a high knee. So I'll, I'm just gonna do 10 per side here. Now if these are getting heavy, feel free to hoist them up onto your shoulders, keep your core tight, and let's drop down. Here we go, so you're down, 
pulse and drive, down, pulse and two, a lot of glute going on in this guy, three, two more to the side, there's ten, Alright, up with that one too. Switch sides. Here we go. Yep. Two more. Up. Okay, we're gonna move into the Monica. Take a second, catch your breath if you need. You are here too early, sister. I'm gonna grab my 20s. It's a suitcase squat into a hinge deadlift, okay? So, get your shoulder width apart, stick your chest out. You're gonna squat, hips go up, bring the weights to the front, then stand. You've got 12. Here we go. Let you go. Low. Here and one. But two back is flat. Three. Here's a side view. Four. more here. Keep it tight. Three, two, and one. Okay, good. I'm going to go into a donkey kick. I'm going to use my band. Holy heart rate. Okay, so I'm slipping that at the bottom of my feet on my hands and knees. And now I'm going to slip it around just one foot like that. So it's around an ankle, around a foot. Donkey for 20 a side. Up. Two, three. There's 10. Sit, Lily. No. And 20. Good. Switch feet. A lot of hamstring there, too. All right, when you're ready, here we go. Up, no lily. That's 10. And 20. Oh, Atlanta. A lot of weight there, isn't there? Again, I'm using my heavy back for that. So that feels good. I'm gonna do some squat jumps for my active rest, but not really rest. Oh, dog just took my band. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Just 12, I'm using eights here. You can go lighter or no weight at all. Here we go. 12, one, There's my 12. Okay, round two. Back to your reverse lunge, honey. Same side, 10. Shoulders back, pulse at the bottom. Low, low drive. Think of your glute right there. Let's work. 
Here we go. There's my 10. Okay. Heart rate gets up on that one. Monica, I'm gonna use my 20s again. <clears throat> Get your shoulder width. Butt out, chest out. Drop it low. Turn butt up, stand with stiff legs, but knees are soft. Two. Two more here. Last here. Okay, nice. Let's go to that donkey. Okay. <clears throat> 20 aside here. So again, once around the ankle, runs around the foot and press to the ceiling. Up. Two. That's halfway. There's 20. Switch sides. Take a breath and work. Okay, Monica's coming up. 
here. rotate those knees. Otherwise, let's put our heavy band above the knees. Okay, feet together, slight forward lean. Let's go for at least 100. Here we go. There's 10. You can also put tension on the side of your legs if you don't have a band. 30. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
eight, nine, and seven. You switch and up. One. Eighty switch up. Ninety switch. Last up one. Six, seven, eight, nine, and a hundred on my Atlanta. Okay, last one here. I'm gonna do a feet elevated glute thrust. Now, again, you don't have a box or bench or something small. A high bench might be too tall. You don't want something very tall, so go on the side of your dumbbells or a step or a plate. Okay. Of course, Tappy Tapperson's coming over. Okay, 100 here, Lily. We got it. Lie down. Just camp out there. We're, we're doing glute thrusts. Ready? Don't go too high. Don't arch your back and don't touch the ground each time. Ready? 100. Up. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, through the heels, nine, ten, and one, two, three. I have an extra five pounds on my pelvis, just FYI. Eight, nine, twenty, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, thirty, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. I had a break for a second. Holy Hannah, I have to really go to the bathroom, so this is not helping. Okay, fifty more. Up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. I'm going to stop at seventy five for a break. Two, three, four, five. Oh my land. What is happening? Okay. 25 more. We got this. Ready, Lily? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, five, four, three. Two, one, and done, and you have moved daily. <laughs> we did it! Little bird, we did it! Okay, join the first stretch if you can. That was, that was work. Oh, Lily! I like that little burnout at the end. What did you think about that? That's good, eh? You can do that with a, a, lots of different things. Okay, my, my Apple Watch says 402 calories burned. We were talking about that in our group about, uh, you know, how many calories you burn in certain things. And <laughs> Stephanie, I don't know if you saw that post, but she wore two different trackers. She wore an Apple watch and she wore a, I can't remember what the other tracker was, but one was the heart strap. One was the arm watch and the heart strap said she burned at least hundred and what was it? 120 calories more than the wrist. So, you always gotta take that with a grain of salt. I always say like, you know what, if you had a good sweaty hard workout, that's great. I know a lot of people when they're, when they're learning to track their, their food, their calorie intake versus energy expenditure, they wanna get an idea of how much they're burning. For me, I always count that as bonus calories, like burned. I don't factor those into what I eat. I sort of set my caloric intake, um, you know, according to if I want to lose weight, to gain weight, or be in maintenance. And then if I burn extra through extra walks or extra exercises, then I'm like, okay, that's it. That's a great bonus. Let's do a little stretch right here. Oh, why is that so tight? Must have done something the other day. Oh, that cardio, I think. 
Did you guys try that cardio bar workout? That was a lot of hopping and jumping, wasn't it? Look at it, Lily. That made my quad sore right there. I can feel it. Oh, good. Okay, switch sides here. Nice. Oh, yeah. Good. So that's, that's good to do those isolated um, muscles. So good glute focus in today's workout, of course. Um, but again, if you really want to build size there, it, it's important to invest in some heavy weights. Not that anyone could get any weights these days. I went into our local store here last night, Quinn and I went out and uh, yeah, they just have a bunch of neoprene weights, which I don't want. Um, but yeah, there's nothing available right now here. So that's tough. They have those interlocking weights, but those are so tedious. I had a bunch of clients who had those. And uh, yeah, it just takes too long, especially if you have, you're doing a timed workout and you have to switch. It's like, oh, slip, slip, interlock, twist, twist. It can be annoying, but if that's all that is available, then you make do, right? Okay. <laughs> I love how she hugs my arm. It's so cute. It's so cute, Lily. Thanks guys, that was great. That was a good workout. I feel like my glutes have been officially fried. I hope you feel the same way. All right, see you guys in the next workout. Sit up here for a second. Stay, stay.